Jesus and succulent growers, it's Lynn and in today's video I'm going to be uh, saving one of my aloe plants and this is my aloe humilis from the dreaded root mealy bug. Now I was going through some of the plants in the polytunnel just checking for pests and I noticed that this, this aloe wasn't particularly looking that well and it was a little bit wobbly in the pot as well so I took it in and took it out the pot and I discovered root mealybug a lot of the roots had all died back and I wasn't actually going to film a video but I thought it's a great opportunity to film a little video on um, on when this happens to your plants should you know what to do now as I say I took it out of the pot and um, I've actually cut it I'm going to explain in a bit this was the root ball that I had here and uh, all the roots have dried up and it was covered. I don't know whether you can see there, but there's quite a few root mealy bugs. They have that sort of white little fluffy deposits on them and it's and it is quite bad. So I just literally cut off the, the roots. It's easier when you have a very bad case of root mealy bug in my experience to just cut the roots off and completely reroot the plant again. It was easy for me to do this with this aloe because a lot of the roots had died back. And with aloes, it's the same with a lot of gasterias and hawarthias as well. When I do repot them, I often cut back all of the old roots and um, either restart them again, or I just cut as many as the old roots away because they have a, they sort of go every couple of years or so, they'll send out a load of new fleshy roots and it's quite common to see the old roots die back. So it's no harm with this roots. It might look a bit drastic, but even if this didn't have root millibug and I was potting this up in the spring, I would have cut all of this away anyway. So that's gone away. But even if the roots look okay on a cactus or succulent, Often I would just, if, the, if it's a bad case of root mealy bug, I would just cut the roots off. It's just easier because what I'm going to be doing now is, as you can see here, this is the remains of the root mealies there that they've left, the deposit, the white deposit. And I'm going to cut off some more here with these pruning shears, make a bit of a clean cut. And the good news is this is actually sending out a new root there. You can just see this little stub there as you can see, and that's a fresh root coming through. So happy days. And because this is an aloe, this will be fine for me just to cut this and I'm um, gonna dab with some diatomaceous earth around it as well, in case there's any chance of any root millies that um, are still lingering. Shouldn't be after the treatment I'm gonna give them now, but um, then I'm gonna pop this up just in a, in a very small pot, just in some pure grit so it can root itself until um, over the next few months and it, it'll probably come back into proper growth then in the spring. So first of all I'm going to remove this um, all this bit here and uh, bring it up to the fresh gro growth where this this new fresh fleshy root is starting to come through. So now I've got these pruning shears here and I'm going to cut this dead bit at the bottom anyway so, so it's all fresh. Can see there. I'm going to cut a bit more, making sure I don't cause any damage to that lovely fresh bit of root there. The good thing is with aloes as well, they're not like a lot of uh, cacti or some other succulents that you need a long time to let them callus. This will be absolutely fine. I'm going to dab this as I mentioned in Diatomaceous Earth and then pot it into dry grit and it will be absolutely fine. Make sure I take all of this rotten rotten bits away. I don't think it's so much rot as it's just old dead roots. Now that's it, I've removed as much as I can there. And as I say, this is just the, di the dried up part. There's no, that's not rot there, there's the fresh root. I can't go any further than that because obviously I'm gonna go too far up into the aloe, I need to leave at least this inch here so it can uh, carry on rooting. I'm just going to remove the, this lower leaf here as well. And uh, that's pretty much okay. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing now, although there's no signs of root mealy bugs now because I've cut off all the, all the roots, I'm going to actually treat it with rubbing alcohol. And what I'm going to be doing here is this, I've got this little bowl of rubbing alcohol, spraying it in, and then 
dab in it. And the rubbing alcohol will help to kill any possible traces of root mealybug left. I sometimes have to soak root balls with uh, cacti and succulents that have root mealybugs and it can be a lot of hassle. Sometimes it's just easier to um, just cut the roots back and then treat the whole plant as a cutting. And uh, because it's an aloe, it'd be absolutely fine potted up at this time of year now. So um, that's that. I'm just going to let this rubbing alcohol then dry. Rubbing alcohol is absolutely great to get rid of pests on cacti and succulents, as well as any chances of root mealybug. So that's that. I'm just going to let that dry for a few minutes before I pot it up into dry grit. Now that's the rubbing alcohol dried on the end part. And I'm just going to dust a little bit of diatomaceous earth onto it here, just a sprinkling. And diatomaceous earth also helps to uh, keep any beasts away as well. I find it's quite handy to sprinkle on the, the plants. Just a very tiny amount, you don't want to use too much. Just a very light dust in there. As if you're just powdering your face. <laughs> and that's it. That'll do. And now I'm going to pot it up into the into the grit, which I've got here. So and as I say, once this is done, I'm just going to then put it back into the polytunnel with all of my other aloes and just let it sit there over the winter for the rest of the winter. And then come spring, I'm going to take another look at it and see how it's getting on check that it's uh, may not decide to root now until the the spring but as i say there's a little root starting to come through already making such a mess with all this grit here <laughs> give it a wee tap to make sure the grit goes all underneath Happy days, and that's all I have to do. I won't be um, giving this any water or anything like that now. And then in the spring, I'll just get it out and check how it's getting on with its root system. Once it's started to establish more of a root system, then I can pot it up into some proper cactus and succulent soil. So, poor little plant, but uh, hopefully it should recover well. So thanks so much for watching everyone and um, if you want to see a complete tour of our aloe succulent plant collection then I'll link up above to a video on a complete tour and um, do check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel for lots more cacti and succulent videos. I want to wish you all a fantastic cactus and succulent plant powered day. Thank you for saving me.